tune in at 2 Eastern Time. Another great show. We've done plenty of shows. I'm repping by myself today. John's holding it down. So my brother from another mother won't be with us today. But I'm going to hold down and do what I do. Um, we got topics. We got therapy of the week. And as always, we have events coming up. We have a great event coming this weekend. And uh, real quick, last weekend we had an event. Um, St. Pete Art and Fashion Week fashion show. It was at the Coliseum. Real quick, just want to say thank you for everybody who put that on. The venue was perfect. It was beautiful. The setup was good. Um, even the entry going in and out where they put the models and everything was great this year. Last year was a little crowded, but this year was perfect. And again, thanks to Lux Fashion Group and everybody who put that on. Um, Titan Medical was the sponsor, so I was modeling some of the clothes along with some of the other guys modeling the male clothing. And the women, they always do a better job than us. They did a great job modeling the bikinis and some of the women's fashion we hear. But again, that was last week, St. P. Art and Fashion Week. So shout out to everybody who came. It was a great time. And once again, we will be back next year for that one. Now, let's see who's on here real quick. We got Curtis. We got Jim Chronicles. We got Michael joined. Uh, looks like we have AMP7784. I'm not sure who some of these people are, but thank you for watching. I'd wave if I could, but I'm away from my screen right now. Uh, okay, let's get into some of these. Let's get in first. Let's get into the therapy of the week. The therapy of the week is kind of blended into our topics, so I'll hit that first. Every week we have a therapy of the week here at Titan. One of our therapies, if you hear me say therapies, therapies, basically that's something that we have here at Titan. And we use it in therapeutic purposes, so we call it our Titan Therapies. So Titan Therapies could be anything from HRT, uh, vitamins, it could be uh, injectable, something for fat loss, anything. But anything that we have here at Titan that comes in that blue and white box, those are our Titan Therapies. But this week, Titan Therapy of the Week is Titan Complete. Um, I always have people say, you guys have like 50 million therapies, which one's which? One has this ingredient, and you may take one ingredient out and add this and that. Um, when it comes to Titan Complete, the closest thing I can compare it to is like a one-a-day vitamin. Obviously, we have a lot more than those vitamins have, but it's the closest thing like a one-a-day vitamin. It's loaded with B12 vitamins. It has leucine, isoleucine, valine, citrulline, so there are aminos in it too. Uh, so you get a good vitamin boost, and you also get your amino acid blend. And, you know, carnitine, carnitine being in it is a, is a huge thing because you need carnitine for fat loss and, and other things too. But uh, Titan Complete, that's our therapy of the week. Um, if you guys are just want a general idea of what it is, basically like a one-a-day vitamin. It's an injectable vitamin. Obviously, injectable is the way to go. I'll touch base on that a little bit later. But, um, yeah, if you guys are interested, call 727 727- 389-3320-3220, and we'll be able to take care of you, and we service nationwide, everywhere except for Idaho, so as soon as we can get hold of Idaho, we'll get you guys too, but again, if you're in a neighbor state of Idaho, and you have an address there, you're our patient, so we could have that forwarded there, it's nothing illegal about that, we just need an address to send it to. Now, how do I use Titan Complete? Um, one of my topics for today was what therapies do I use um, daily, all year round? Which ones, you know, I can't live without and this and that. A lot of the therapies that I take, I'll take them in quote-unquote cycles or, or just brief time periods. If I want to bulk up a little bit, I may take MK677 for a little while, get my hunger up, get my appetite up, get my weight up, get my strength up. If I want to burn fat, I may take ECA and maybe some AOD, Take that for a little while, I'll burn fat. But those are two things um, that some people, are, they, won't, they don't take them all year round. People always ask, how do I stay lean year round? Yes, genetics and metabolism has something to do with it. But the main reasons are because, first of all, I eat clean. And second of all, I always take Titan Complete and I always take my ECA+. Plus. Now, what is Titan Complete? I just touched on what Titan Complete is. But having carnitine in there is definitely going to help with your fat loss. Um, carnitine helps with fat loss, helps with more energy during your workouts, enhance recovery, um, it boosts your metabolism and your immune system, helps you lose weight if you want to lose weight without losing muscle. So it's something you could take um, that you're going to lose weight but not lose muscle. So obviously that's good weight. Um, and that's something that's in Titan Complete. That's just one of the ingredients in Titan Complete. Um, isoleucine, citrulline, um, carnitine. Uh, like I said, carnitine, a lot of times people say, well, I'm already taking carnitine. Why do I have to take Titan Complete? 
Are you taking it orally or are you injecting the carnitine? And is obviously if it's doctor prescribed, I'm assuming if you guys are injecting carnitine, it's doctor prescribed, not just some random person somewhere that has carnitine or who knows what it is. Um, but yeah, if you're taking carnitine now and you're using the oral version where there's sometimes it comes in, you know, flavored fruit punch or cherry flavored little syrups, you know, you mix up a little cup of it, you take a scoop of it before you go to the gym or a cup of it. If you're taking it that way, it may work to a certain extent, but again, it's gonna have to pass through your system. It may get lodged into your food or lodged into some oral fat that you ate and now it's not it's not um, dispersing through your body properly. It's slowing down the absorption. And again, anything you take orally, you're gonna eat a whole bunch and you're gonna drink a whole bunch. So obviously that has to be excreted. Whereas with an injectable, you're getting every last milligram or microgram with it. So um, that, that kind of transition into my next topic about orals versus injectables. I always have people say, um, yeah, I want to try this therapy or I want to try that therapy, but um, you know, I, I'm just, I don't, I don't want to inject myself. I'm afraid of needles. Um, I'd be a lot more afraid of having kidney damage um, or organ damage just because I have stuff has to pass through you. Um, if you're getting a tablet or you're getting a pill, the tablet may be, you know, however size that you're physically looking at the tablet. Now that a pinch of that might be the ingredient that you want. The rest of it is just a filler. Now, people say, why do they have fillers? Because it's such a small ingredient, it's such a small amount, they wouldn't be able to put it into a tablet. It would be like the size of like, you know, a grain, a piece of rice or something even smaller than that. So what they have to do, they have to add fillers just to make it big enough where you could physically pick it up, put it in your mouth and take it and they could fill the bottle with 100 or 60 or 90 or whatever they put in there. Now, what... You're getting the ingredients, so the ingredient's still going into your body, but again, like I said, it could pass through. It has to pass through your system. Now, if you take a tablet, all those fillers that I just said, 80, 90% of the, the capsule or tablet you're looking at is a filler, over time, you're putting filler, 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 filler over and over and over again with only getting that small amount of the ingredient that you actually need. So rather than put fillers into your system, I know bodybuilders are taking 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 tablets a day. Now that might not be high in terms of the vitamin intake, but that's definitely a lot of fillers. And over time, that's going to be taxing. It's putting something into your body you don't need. It's going to make it harder to digest. And who knows what those fillers are doing to the actual, actual ingredient and might be slowing down the process. So if you guys are afraid of needles, I highly suggest you watch videos on it. You talk to the medical provider how to do it. Um, after the medical provider shows you how to do it, you could do it. Start with it. Obviously, I would say um, use the needles that Titan Medical or your medical provider gives you. Don't use your own needles. 30-gauge um, half-inch needles are usually the therapies that we have here. There, um, Usually our medical providers, you'll get from the pharmacy, you'll get your, your therapies, doctor-prescribed therapies, and you'll get small needles with orange tips. Now, those orange tips, needles, are usually 30 gauge, which is really, really thin. The bigger the gauge, the smaller the needle. So if you hear 30 gauge or even 31 gauge, that means the needle's real small. If you hear 18, 20, don't ever put that into your body because you're going to put a hole in yourself because the needle is the smaller the number, the thicker the needle. Now, with these therapies, 30 gauge half inch needle is smaller than an earring back. The length is like smaller than an earring back and it's not even it's like an eighth of it's it's tiny it's so thin you do not feel it going to your body i could take a 30 inch half inch and put it pretty much anywhere in my body and as long as it's going into a muscle i basically don't feel it at all i may feel the substance going in but i don't feel it and again using smaller needles here we go thank you art if you see these needles right here these are the needles i'm talking about now on camera i'm holding this needle up but the needle is so thin that you probably can't even see it with that camera you may be able to, you may not to. Look this like, right, this like needle right is you. very, very small. Like right beside you so they can see like how big it is. Like, that's so small. Yeah, yeah, if you see it, you could probably can't even see. And not only not only the length is small, the length is only a half inch, but the width. The width is the part that you're going to feel going into your body. So people say, oh, it's a one inch needle. It's going to hurt. You're not looking at the depth of the needle. Obviously, if it's two or three, that's way too long. But you're not looking at the depth of the needle. You're looking at the width of the needle. So... Again, most of our therapies are prescribed with this. Um, obviously, our testosterone, I shouldn't say obviously, but our testosterone is not prescribed, recommended to use this. Um, real quick, I know a lot of people may use this because they feel like 
it's a smaller needle, it's not gonna hurt any much. So they start putting oil substances into these needles. These needles are not made for oil. They're made for liquid. Um, it's only one ml. So if you guys need to take one ml, there's a reason why these needles tips don't come off. Um, bigger needles that you use for HRT, which is testosterone, therm uh, testosterone replacement therapy, or some people like to call it hormone replacement therapy, those needles are bigger and longer because they're oil. It's oil going into them. You have to pull into there. The reason why this is so small is because it's not made. If you try to pull oil into this, it's going to take you like a week to get it in there. It's going to, it's going to be drip drop all day long. And not only that, you don't want to dull the tip. And it's just it's a long process. So this is what I use for our therapies. I have yet to see someone take this and say that it hurts. If they take this, I've yet to see some. We give out free B12 shots at some of our um, some of our events, bodybuilding events. We give out free B12s, totally free. So if you hear about the free B12, come on by. But yeah, we give out free B12 shots, and we always use this, and it's always put into the into the deltoid for the most part. Um, we always put in the deltoid. We've had people that have never done it before. We've had people that do it every day. And when I was at the Tampa Pro, the last event where we did this, Every single person who got this is like, oh, it's not that bad. I did not see one single person that didn't, that complained um, after the fact. Maybe before because they're not used to it, but then afterwards, oh, it's not really that bad. You know, it's kind of like going on a roller coaster or, you know, jumping into the water for the first time. Once you do it, it's kind of like it is what it is, and it's real easy. And if you do it yourself and you're good at it, then you have even more faith because you're controlling it. You don't have to sit there and wait and this and that. But anyways, I could go on and on about injectables. But injectable therapies are the way to go. If you guys are looking to save your stomach, and I don't mean save your stomach in terms of fat or getting a bigger stomach, I mean in terms of save your stomach, give it a little bit of break from all that additives being pumped through there with the pills. Always go with an injectable. Always, always. You're going to get your money's worth way more with an injectable because you're getting every last bit. What I say, if there's a 100 milligram tablet out there, and I take that 100 milligram tablet, and then I drink a gallon of water because I got to get my water in, and then I eat my food because I got to make sure I eat. That pill is getting lodged into that food, into that water, and it's diluting it. And then as soon as I use the bathroom, whether it's number one or number two, that pill's coming out at some point. So basically, the money you just spent is going into the toilet. So it's not just about your stomach. It's about saving money, too. So and everybody's system processes food differently. Everybody digests food differently. Certain people can eat. Uh, cheese, it doesn't mess up their stomach. Certain other people could eat cheese. It, it, you know, it, it ruins them. Same thing with your vitamins. When you're taking oral vitamins, orally, when I mean by orally, whether it's a pill that you, you take, ingest, whether it's a liquid that you take, you know, you pour it a measured amount and you take it into your mouth and you ingest it. If you're taking oral vitamins, there's no say whether everyone digests differently. So who's to say that you're digesting it the same way the next person is? So when you look at the back of the bottom, it says take two tablets every four hours. Okay. Now, if I take those two tablets, it's not asking me what did you eat before I took those two tablets. It's not asking me how long has it been since you used the bathroom. It's not asking me am I a heavy sweater. You know, if you take a whole bunch of tablets and drink a whole bunch of water, it's going to excrete out of you. So it's not asking me all that. So it's kind of generalized. So one person may only need one Advil a day. The next person may need three. Reason why is because maybe that person that's taken three, their body's not absor absorbing it the right way. So now they have to take more pills and more fillers. So it always goes back to injectable. Injectable is the way to go. And again, it's never hurt. I've never seen someone say it. I've had, I've had a lot of people paranoid. Oh, what do you do? Oh my God, I can't believe. I feel like a junkie, this and that. You don't feel like a junkie because there are plenty of medications that are safe, plenty of vit vitamins that are safe. It's not even a drug. You know, vi People will go eat pizza and beer, but then be complaining about taking a vitamin injection because they're, they're sprayed of it. It's complete they're up. Much, they're pretty much in every single protein shake at BCAAs and you're getting barely nothing out of them. People drink them because they think they are. Exactly. Art made a great point. All these BCAAs and aminos and B12 and all this that they're putting into these shakes. Actually, look at the ingredient and how much you're getting. Because all they'll have to put on the front is B included BCAAs. Look on the back. If it's like one gram per serving, you got to use three scoops and this and that. And then once you do all that, like Art said, it's going to pass right out of you. It's going to get lost in the food. You're basically going to poop it out, piss it out, and then it's gone. So, uh, yeah. Look into oral versus injectables. And I challenge somebody. If they think that orals are better, if they could prove it, I, I, I know I know they're not. I'm basically going to say that now. But if they could prove how orals are better than injectables, I want to know about it. Send me a message. Send Titan a message. Say, send this to Drew. Whatever it is, 
I want to know about it because I've yet to see any test, any studies, or anybody say that pills are safer and more effective. The only thing is that fear of the needle. Once you get over that, it's game over. Your stomach is going to be fine. You don't have to worry about taking a Titan therapy and, oh, I don't want to eat my food right now because I want to make sure it absorbs or I want to not eat and take this pill to make sure it's not getting messed up. You don't want to get messed up, take the injectable route. Now, real quick, let's see who we got on here. It's kind of hard for me to see my screen. We got Micah. We got a bunch on here. Strength Addicts, shout out to Strength Addicts. OC Baller, Williams Ron, Seth Jordan. Uh, it's me, Coach, John John Ghost, Sam the Nightmare, Badima, uh, Pearly Cupcake, I like the name, Aquaholic. Aquaholic, why are you an aquaholic? Do you swim or do you like the water? I like the name, I'm just curious. Uh, Kevin Kevin is okay. <laughs> Kevin O is okay. I can't, can't pronounce that, sorry. Uh, Jose Guerrero, Faison's on here. Uh, Brandon McNeil, Chris, Nurse Jimbo. Nurse Jimbo, uh, if you're a nurse, you could probably, if you want to chime in or say something about what I was talking about, orals versus injectables. Being a nurse, I'm sure you're around injections or have given injections, but nurses know exactly what I'm talking about when I say oral uh, versus injectables. Um, fit, what does it say? Fit though, Chuck? Truck 150, Fit View Wear. What else we got on here? Alpha Frost, B Warrior, B, yeah, I can see a little bit better over B Warrior joined, nice, Lags, David Castle, here they keep coming, uh, Helio Compass, B Mock, Ferns, guys, give me shout outs, let me know where you guys are at, we have a lot of people uh, tuning in right now, whether it's anywhere in the country, outside the country, give me a city and state, or if you want to, just give your state, uh, no junkie looks jack like big <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> shout out to Strength Actors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, there he is. Okay, love water sports, fishing, racing. Nice. Just love the water. Yeah, makes sense. Aquaholic. I like the name. I like the name. Right. I didn't know if you were a swimmer or you something something to do with sports or this and that. But yeah, I'm a water guy myself. I love the beach. Anything that has to do with the beach. I don't have to go in the water. As long as the water is near me, I love that tranquil feeling. That's why I live where I could see the water from where I'm at, because it just gives me that that peace make me feel great when I'm near the water. It's almost like the B12 and the and the, uh, uh, the B12 and, and the vitamin D and all that, the natural stuff you get combined with the water, it's therapeutic in itself. So kind of like the gym for me. Therapeutic is sunsets, I love. Sunri uh, sunsets, sunrises, water, and again, my therapies, <laughs> my Titan therapies. All right, let's get into these events. We got a lot of events coming up. Uh, we just had a great one last week. First one I want to touch on is the big one. Tomorrow night, Jason Skelton, Skell himself, huge private fashion show. This so this event has sold out. It is sold out. If you want to go online and try, it may. I mean, who knows? But it is sold out. So this event sold out quick. Jason Skelton is a local artist, big time local artist, not just a guy that you know does. You can see some of the paintings we have in the office. We have a Skelton in the lounge next door. We have Peyton paintings him with Jason Skelton. If you look at the casino, some of the uh, pictures around inside the casino are him. There's pictures of there's this guy's paintings everywhere. He does great artwork. But again, he's a good friend of us, a friend of ours here at Titan. Um, he's putting on a huge show tomorrow night. And it's right here in Florida, right downtown Tampa at the Floridian. If you guys don't know what the Floridian, Floridian is, it's an older hotel that they remade. It's like over 100 years older. I'm not sure exactly, but it almost looks like kind of like the Titanic type setting in there. It's real nice chandeliers, a lot of nice, you know, stairways and, uh, you know, pillars. And it's a great, it's a great look. I haven't been there yet to see what the venue or the setup is going to be for tomorrow. But again, there's always great stuff going on to Floridian. They might have rooms available too. So if you guys are coming by and you want to hang out, if you're drinking, I highly advise you to get a room and not drive. So it's easy when you have events at a hotel. You could drink. I'm not a drinker, but if you got on a drink, you could drink downstairs, enjoy the show, and then, you know, just go up to your room and be safe about it. So uh, that's tomorrow night um, at the Floridian. I believe it's from, I'm not sure, I'm not sure the exact seven time, I believe to 7 to 11, and again, it is sold out, and it's a private event too, so not to sound any type of way, but it's a private event, so if you come to this event, 
um, there, there's a chance that you might not be able to get in. I mean, I'm just saying that and being real about it. I don't want people to drive. Oh, I drove two and a half hours and they told me it was sold out. As of right now, I'm telling you it's sold out. If you want to go inquire and see what you could do, that's one thing, but it's a private event. So again, when we have events like this or if we have private events, I highly advise you to jump on the tickets early. This event sold out probably quicker than any event we've had. I haven't seen an event sold out this quick, like ever. It's almost like as soon as we told people about it, it was like two days later, go to the website, sold out. And everybody who I see around town and at the gyms and stuff say they're going. So great night, great time. I'll see you guys tomorrow at the show. I'll be modeling some of the clothes, kind of like how I did last last uh, week. Uh, I'll be modeling some. I'm not going to give you guys an exact, I'm not going to give you too much of what I'm wearing, but I'll be modeling Titan clothing. Uh, we have other models modeling Titan clothing. I got my boy Big Rod coming. He's going to be modeling Titan clothing. So it is, we are going to be modeling the clothes. That's what Titan is involved with it. Again, we're the sponsor. But again, Scale's a great guy. And I'm, 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 I'm assuming, I'm knowing it's going to be a great event. Now, after that, August, uh, I should say October. Wow, these months are going by so quick. I just said August. <laughs> October 1st, NPC Puerto Rico show. Um, this is a Tim Gardner show. In Puerto Rico, MPC, I'm assuming it's a national qualifier. So if you guys are trying to get qualified, trying to get that pro card. Again, too, Puerto Rico, you guys don't need a passport. So I've heard plenty of people say, I want to do shows or I want to travel. If I don't have a passport, you don't need a passport for Puerto Rico. Flights are fairly cheap. I mean, compared to everywhere else, who knows what's cheap. But compared to going to, you know, England or something like that. Flights are fairly cheap, so it's a national qualifier. So, and you're going to be in great shape. So, if you guys want to do this show, I mean, you still. I'm not sure how prepped you are now, but October first, you could still do this show. You could enjoy your weekend, and once the show's over, you could be in Puerto Rico and you could be in the best shape of your life. So, just imagine the pictures and the, the fun and stuff you could have because you're already in shape and you're down. There, you can enjoy yourself. So, shout out to Tim Gardner at the Tim Gardner Show, it's Puerto Rico Pro. That's October first, and once again, it is. Sponsored by Titan Medical. Right back at it, same month, October 22nd. Tim Gardner again, the Hurricane Pro. Hurricane Bay and also Hurricane Pro. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, which one is the Hurricane? Which one is the, is it the same thing? Is it vice versa? Hurricane Bay is NPC, amateur. Hurricane Pro is the actual, is, is professional. So it's during the same time period and maybe on the same day, so they'll have like, you know, morning show, the amateur, which is NPC, they may go first. And then afterwards, the pro goes on, similar how the Tampa pro was, but the Hurricane Pro and the Hurricane Bay is the same event. It's just one of them is the pro athletes and one of them is the NPC athletes. That's October 22nd. It is a national qualifier. And again, Titan Medical will be in the house. I'll be there. We'll be their title sponsor. Again, we do this show every year. Certain shows we do every year. We do a lot of Deke shows every year. We do Tampa Pro every year. We do Hurricane every year. So this is another one of our annual things that we do. Tim's a great guy. And again, it's going to be a great show. I want to see some competitors come to this. I want to know where my super heavies are at. A lot of these shows that I've been to, everybody looks great. Everybody's in great condition. You know, even the lighter weight guys or this and that, some of you guys could, could beat me on stage. You guys look, it doesn't matter how much you weigh on stage. I want to see the super heavyweights. Because a lot of times at these shows, there are a lot of great competitors and maybe one or two. And the only time super heavyweights really get to compete against other super heavyweights is nationals. Come out. Come to this show. Fonzo, you're in the area. I'm challenging. Come on. Come do the show. Do somebody do the show. I know plenty of heavyweights. I want to see super heavyweight guys. Let's bring that monster status to the stage. Don't just wait till the pros come out to be monsters. You guys could be just as big as the pros and be super heavyweights and go out there and do it the safe way too. So. Hurricane Pro, October 22nd. Now, we love cars here at Titan. One thing we love is we love cars, we love water, and we love fashion, and we love fitness. Next show we have is November 6th, Festivals of Speed. That's the Ritz-Carlton Orlando. Again, another great car show. This is probably the biggest car show that we do. Um, maybe not area-wise at the actual venue, but I mean just the biggest um, the quality of cars, I mean, there's going to be literally probably 100 Lamborghinis, 100. I mean, there's so many nice cars. This is the car show that you pull up in a brand new McLaren and you feel like it's not good enough. <laughs> so, I mean, this is the car show where this, I mean, 
the simplest car or the baddest car in your neighborhood will come here and get parked in the back. So the Titan Lambo will be out there. The Titan C8 will be out there. The Titan Hellcat, the new Titan Hellcat might be out there. It's about to get wrapped soon, real soon. But the new Titan Hellcat will be out there. That's a whole other thing. So fleet, the fleet will be out there. Um, if you want to see great cars, and again, it's it's a, it's a similar setup. You have a whole bunch of cars everywhere. We'll have a Titan booth, so make sure you come by the booth. Take a picture with me. Take a picture with the girls. Find out about product. Always get a free T-shirt. We give away free T-shirts at all of our events. But yeah, come by the booth. Check us out. But the event is basically just walk around, and there's cars everywhere. The owners are usually standing by the cars somehow. They obviously have um, the best car of the show, and they have awards and things like that. Um, I'm sure John and Sharice may have a word at the end of the night. The other promoters or the owners of different cars that one may talk. But it's basically just a huge, you can walk around, take pictures with the car, take pictures with your friend in front of the car. Some of the owners may let you sit in the car, but I would definitely ask them first. It doesn't matter if the door's open and anything. These cars are half a million dollar cars. Some of these cars are a million dollar cars. So don't just assume you can walk over and touch the car. Don't just see one little scratch on one of these cars could be the price of your car. Like, so you just got to be careful. But uh, yeah, great show. And that is the Festivals of Speed at the Ritz-Carlton in Orlando. It's about an hour from downtown Tampa here. The parking there is real good, too. And uh, the venue, it's outside, but obviously if you need to use the bathrooms or whatever, they'll let you go inside to the lobby. There's food there. There's a pool there. So you can come hang out for the whole day. And again, if you can, I'd advise you grab a room. Grab a room while you're there. That way you can hang out a little bit outside, go upstairs, relax. And at the end of the day, if you decide to drink, you could just stay there. Now you could just stay there. You don't have to worry about driving all the way back home. And especially with all the with all the testosterone being revved up with all these engines and stuff going on, if you're out there having a couple drinks and you're hearing a vroom, 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 next thing you know, you get in your car, you're going to feel like it's fast and furious. You're going to be driving all crazy. So be safe. Don't drink and drive. I'm going to say that for every event we have. Don't drink and drive. I'm sick of hearing about, hearing about people dying on the streets or driving a one-way or innocent people, non-innocent people, whatever the case may be. Just don't drink and drive. Now, more cars. <laughs> Less than a month later, about four weeks later, Cars in Couture, December 3rd. Now, Cars in Couture is another car show similar to Festivals of Speed. Um, this one is going to be, I believe, in St. Pete. Um, so it's about, you know, again, 45 minutes from here. It's Saturday, December 3rd. And that is, um, I believe it's at 12 a.m. 12, uh, excuse me, 12 p.m. 6 to 10 p.m. 6 to 10 p.m. Okay, so that's a night show. So that's good, too. Uh, Festivals of Speed is during the day. The one I just spoke about before this show. This one, 6 to 10. So it's going to be at night. Titan Medical is a sponsor. Different vibe when you're at these night car shows because you can see the cars like underneath the lights. Uh, at the end of the night, my biggest, what I like the best about these car shows is at the end of the night, when all the car's engines finally turn on at the same time, and they're all driving down the lanes, so you can see all, it's just nothing, but you smell the engines, and you hear the, the roaring, I'm a muscle car guy, so I love that at the end of the night, but uh, Cars and Couture, again, it's another great show, if you want to come to that one, come to that one as well, come to both of them, you come to all of our events, if I'm talking about any of these events, or John's talking about any of these events, that means you can come to the event. Unless I say don't come or unless I say you can't come, you're always welcome at these events. The reason why I mention these events, the reason why we let you know about these events is so you guys can go to them, so you can experience what I'm talking about. Again, the Scale Fashion Show was sold out, but when I initially said it, there was tickets available online. So come to these events. I mean, it's oh, when even if you've watched every show, even if you watch highlights of it, you'll never get the feel unless you're actually there. It, it's... It's hard to explain. It's almost like if you've never been to a race car track and you watch it on TV, but then you stand it right there to experience it. So uh, watch us rip the runway. I'll try to do what I can. I'm not a model by any means, but I try to do what I can. This is going to be a great event. Cars and Couture. Cars and Couture last year um, was a fashion show as well. So there was cars everywhere, but there was also a fashion show too. So. If you guys hear Cars and Couture, the main thing that separates the Cars and Couture is the fashion show. So it's a fat, it's cars everywhere, and then at the night they have the fashion show. So if you can see a little bit of both, if you hear me talking about all the fashion shows we do, and you hear me talking about the car shows we do, you want to experience both of them, this will be the one to go to because you get a little bit of both. But um, yep, that's Cars and Couture. That's December 3rd. 
And again, sponsored by Titan Medical. Now, the last one on my list for today, um, and the reason why I say for today is we will be adding events, so make sure you tune in every week to these events. Um, if you if they hear about something, or are you guys sponsoring this, you sponsoring that, you could always call, you could always ask, or you could just wait and tune in because, again, we'll be adding stuff frequently. So if it's not here yet, oh, what about this? I thought you were. Unless it's 100% set in There's a lot of things that we have going on, but unless it's like set in stone, that's when you'll hear about it from me. So we have a lot of events coming up. Just keep tuning in, keep, up, keep updating yourself, and you'll be aware of, of events that's going on. Now, the last one, like I said, Mr. Olympia or and Mrs. Olympia. I should say the Olympia in Las Vegas. That's December 15th through the 18th. Now, if you guys don't know what the Olympia in Vegas is, bodybuilding, bodybuilders that show their physique, show the hard work they do, you know, they flex on stage and all this stuff. Um, it's our Olympia. So it's, I mean, our Super Bowl, excuse me. So basically, it is the biggest bodybuilding show, people-wise, uh, you know, it's the biggest bodybuilding show where it has the highest honors if you win the show in the whole world. So basically, the people with the most muscular, um, not most muscular, but people with the best bodies in the whole world come to this show. And if you win this, you are best in the world. It's a huge deal. People say there's no money in bodybuilding. Um, there's money if you win the Olympia because if you win one of these smaller shows, it may have cost you, you know, thousands of dollars just to get there. But then once you get there, if you don't win anything, it's like I spent all that from... This is a little bit different. If you win Mr. Olympia, you get four hundred over $400,000 for that one show. So it is a big deal. So even if you only compete once a year and do this show and win every year, you're getting four hundred grand for that one show. So it is a huge deal. Um, it's a big deal if you win it because it's basically saying I have the best bodybuilding body in the world. Whether you're a female and you do bikini... Or whether you're a bodybuilder, you know, the biggest guys and do bodybuilding, you have that title as I am the best in the world. So when people people uh, look in the mirror at themselves or people start working out, they look, they always have judging themselves, maybe judging how they looked before, judging towards other people. But to look in the mirror and look at yourself and say, I'm the best in the world, I mean, it doesn't matter what you do. If you golf, if you're a gamer, if you do CrossFit, and you can. <laughs> It could be, you could be the best parent in the world. If you're the best in the world at what you do, that's a whole nother level. So, again, that's December 15th through the 18th. Come check out the best in the world sponsored by Titan Medical Center. Uh, I can't wait for that event. It's kind of like I'm doing kind of like a mini a mini uh, prep for that event. I know a lot of people that are going to the show are like, you know, I, get, I need to get in shape for the Olympia. Not competing, just to go. Because I'm sure there's going to be plenty of gyms that are flooded with people. Uh, fitness influencers, bodybuilders, celebrities all over the country are going to be there. So this is a chance where you can come, you can network, you can meet new people, you can maybe get connections. If you guys don't have a sponsor, this is this is this is what this is what you need to do. You need to go to shows like this and walk around the expo, let people see you, and this is where you can interact. This is how you can get your foot in the door at the Olympia. And again, the Olympia it may be expensive. The tickets may be expensive. But even if you don't go to the actual event, like to sit in the crowd and pay for your ticket and your seat, your seat is on your ticket, even if you go to the expo, if you see expo, the expo is going to allow you to go in, walk around, see all the vendors, all the athletes, all the sponsors and this and that, get free merchandise, and it's going to give you the, you can come to the Titan booth. So if you want to come, yeah, I want to come check you out at the Olympia, but it's too expensive. All you got to do is buy the expo. The expo is cheap. And then you can see all the Titans. You can come by the booth. You get your free T-shirt. You can go by other places. You might have to bring a you might have to bring a book bag because you're gonna get a lot of free stuff at these events. But anyways, December fifteenth to the eighteenth. That's the Olympia, and that's in Las Vegas. Back in Vegas this year. Last year was in uh, Orlando because of the whole you know when everything shut down. So they did a great job over there. It was convenient because it's only like an hour from me. But it is good that it's back in Vegas. I know people in Vegas love it because they don't have to travel anymore. Uh, it's in December too, so it might be a little bit chilly at night, but you know, at least it's not going to be, you know, at least they're not having the Olympia in Colorado in the winter time or something crazy like that. But uh, that's pretty much it today uh, for the show. A little bit shorter show today because John was out, but I hold it down. And then uh, let's see who else we have on here. All right, if you could pull it up real quick, just want to make sure I didn't. Oh, we got a bunch. Any, uh, want to give some people some shout outs see if you guys have any questions if you guys have any questions shoot them at me right now we got um let me see we got 
Trey the Truth, Fabian, Tampa Hair Extensions, Charles David, Alex, uh, Joker Mass, Aries, Henry Briscoe, Yo Bell, Yo Bill Train, sorry, uh, Alicia Wellness, MPC, uh, SM Kelly, Sir Royce 04, Muhammad, Ever MB, All Jokers. I like the, I like the, uh, I like the profile pick of All Jokers. I like that's a nice pick. We got a pick in the office. Looks similar. To that. I'm looking at it right now. It almost looks the same as that All Jokers guy. Foo's on. Everybody's on here. But great. Glad you guys tuned in. Again, I'll be back next week with John. Um, this is Titan Lifestyle. If you guys aren't subscribed to our YouTube, Titan Titan, type in Titan Medical on your YouTube. You'll see our page come up. And also, make sure you hit the bell so you're notified uh, when I'm doing these videos and when John's doing his videos or with anybody doing any Titan videos. Uh, check us out on Facebook, Titan Medical. Make sure you follow them as well. Instagram, Titan Medical. Follow them. You can follow me. Um, Titan Medical 2.0. That's a secondary uh, page that we have. Instagram, follow that as well. And if you guys want to listen to the podcast, if you guys want to sneak your earbuds in at work because you can't watch me, you can check out the podcast on your iPhone or even an Android phone. Just type in Titan Medical Podcast. And you can see all the videos, or I should say listen to all the videos that me and John have done over the past two or three years now. So that's always available. So you have no excuse to watch me. You have no excuse to watch John. I gave you all the ways, and you can even listen to us on the podcast. That's it for Titan Lifestyle. I'll see you guys tomorrow night at the Fashion Show. If you, did, if you were lucky enough to get a ticket, I'll see you guys tomorrow night. And also, I will see... I'll see some people tomorrow at the grand opening. There's a grand opening at the gym. Uh, I'll be that that as well with one of our athletes as well. So, Advanced Fitness, Advanced Fitness tomorrow. Charlie Taff. Charlie Taff, thank you for uh, for letting us come by. He has a great gym too. If you guys want to see a great gym, come check out Charlie Taff. Advanced Fit. Uh, the address is Tampa, but it's going east towards Brandon. It's not hard to get to. And again, it's right off to Crosstown. So if you guys are familiar with the Crosstown, you can literally jump on that. And as soon as you jump off, it's like right up the street. So see you guys tomorrow at the fashion show. I'll see you guys tomorrow at the grand opening at Advanced Fit. I'm Big Drew. This